Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to use Keynote to create great photo collage videos. Now, actually, I get asked this quite a bit. How can you create cool collage videos that are really fast and things that you commonly see maybe on television? If you use typical slideshow stuff, the pictures move kind of slowly from one to the other. But you want to create something quick, say for an intro or a montage. Well, you can use Keynote to do that. There's something in Keynote called Smart Builds, and you can use that and then export the video. So here I am in Keynote. I just started with a blank Keynote presentation, just the one with the black background. I'm going to change this first and only slide here, just be completely blank. I'm only going to need this one slide because I'm going to use a Smart Build for the animation. To add a Smart Build, there are various different ways you can do it. Uh, one, for instance, is just go to Insert. A smart build and then pick the type of smart build you want to use. So let's just use the swap one as an example. So it brings up the inspector here and it shows you the smart build settings. It also brings up this little window here where you can add images. You can do it directly from the media browser. You can also drag and drop from the finder. I'm going to go into the uh, photos section here in iPhoto and just grab a bunch of different photos here and drag them all into this drop zone. It's going to drag 12 of them in there. And now I can close that. And I can see I've got 12 different images in here. If I were to play it now, I would see one and I'd use the forward arrow key to advance to the next. Now that's not what I want. I want it to automatically advance. So with the Smart Build selected as I have here, I can use the inspector here to change how it works. So one of the things I can do, uh, for instance, is to speed things up a bit. Let's do it as half a second. You can see the preview here. That's a little bit better, more what I want. Um, and I can also click on more options here and get the build order. Now I want them all to build the same, but instead of on click, I want to automatically have them go with no delay. Now you can see a preview of what happens. So now let me go and try it out. And you can see I get a very fast animation of all of these photos. So now let's try some other ones. Uh, swap probably isn't the best one, but something like, say, Shuffle, you can see the preview in here, is an interesting effect. But also Push and Flip would be a good one. Let's go in Preview, Flip. And then if it's going too fast, I can simply go and slow things down uh, by changing it, changing the duration here. So this might work a little bit better. So you can imagine some music and some, or maybe some intro audio going over at the beginning of a video. So once you have the effect that you want, it looks just like you want when you play it, you can, of course, go ahead and export it as a video. And you can go and just uh, use a fixed timing for the advance so it just starts automatically. Um, and then use full quality, large, and export it that way. Here it is in the QuickTime player. So it's a straight video. I can take this video file now and just drop it into iMovie. And one detail I may want to take care of is in the inspector go to your document settings here and you can actually set the slide size. So for instance if you're creating something at 720 this is perfect at 1280 by 720. If you're creating a video that's 1080 then you want to switch to 1920 by 1080 here and it will resize everything. And now when you export the video it will be that size and it will match what you're doing in iMovie. So this is another example of why Keynote is an invaluable tool for anybody that creates videos, whether you're using iMovie for home stuff or you're doing some pro stuff with Final Cut Pro. Uh, you can use this to create all sorts of cool special effects, uh, cool little slideshows like this. Uh, Keynote is definitely a must-have. Just export the video and then import it into your video editing software. I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.